Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video I will show you the latest version of my Hyperland dot files, the version 2.8. The latest version includes a new key feature, the My Linux for Work Welcome app. The My Linux for Work Welcome app is your starting point for your customizations of my dot files. In addition, it includes links to important resources in the internet like the Hyperland wiki. The version 2.8 also comes with a new minimal waiver theme and the integration of NWG look to define your GTK theme. Thanks again to the whole My Linux for Work community and all of the dot files users. Thanks for all your feedback and your recommendations of new features. You can find the link to download the dot files from my GitLab in the description below. So just clone it, fork it, download it, tweak it, do whatever you want. If you are curious to hear some of the upcoming plans for the dot files, you will find more information at the end of the video. And with that, let's start. Welcome to my Hyperland desktop in the version 2.8. Let's immediately start with the main new feature of my dot files. This is the new welcome app. You can start the welcome app by clicking the L logo in Waybar. The idea of the My Linux for Work welcome app is to offer a summary of all important links and a starting point to access the main key configuration features plus Arch Linux maintenance functions. You see here already on the home screen the most important key bindings. Super key plus return to open the terminal. Super key plus B to open the browser. Control super return to open Rofi, the application launcher. And control super S to start the setting script. With the button All Key Bindings, you can open the Rofi menu that lists all available key bindings in your Hyperland configuration. On the header bar, you see here the toggle button. With this toggle, you can enable or disable the auto start of the Welcome app after your login. This button brings the window into the tiling mode or back to the floating mode. Here you have access to important resources in the internet. For example, the direct link to my My Linux for Work GitLab repository, or my YouTube channel, Hyperland homepage is the link here, and a very important resource for all your Hyperland configurations is, of course, the Hyperland wiki. Let's move to the settings menu. Let me close some of the windows in the background. The settings menu gives you direct access to all important features and configuration applications to customize your Hyperland experience. The first one is update wallpaper. This opens directly the wallpaper Rofi menu and I can select another wallpaper. The next is the waiver theme. Let's change the waiver theme. The version 2.8 includes a new minimal waiver theme. Let's search for minimal. Here it is and activate it. And now you see on top the new minimal waybar theme, a new launcher icon, a nice animation for the workspace selector, a new button to give ex direct access to ChatGPT, the settings icon, of course, so everything a bit more cleaner with a nice transparent background that works very well with all wallpapers. Let's change again the wallpaper. Let's scroll through the list and take this one. Well, this here looks very nice with that wallpaper. The next button helps you to change the GTK theme for your GTK applications. Let's open for that Thuna 
the file manager. This is a GTK application and I bring the My Linux for Work app into the tiling mode. Then I click on change GTK theme. And here is NWG look. This is the Wayland configuration tool to change your GTK settings. For example, the icon theme. I can switch to Breeze Dark. Click on apply and you see that Breeze Dark is now the icon theme for GTK applications or Advita. And here is the Advita icon theme. This of course depends what you have installed on your system. But these should be installed when you run the installer of my dot files. You can also change the cursor theme. For example, to Bibata Modern Amber, you see here already this is an orange theme and click on apply. And you have now the orange amber colored icon. But you see that here in between the mouse cursor is changing. Uh, the, the reason for, for this is that the hyperland ctl command is not executed so far but i can do this here by refresh gtk settings in the background and now you see that the cursor also on hyperland is now using bibata modern amber theme let's add here another terminal and open the Hyperland settings. Here is the Hyperland settings script. Everyone who has already used the 2.7 dot files should be familiar with that. Here you can change a lot of settings of the appearance of, for example, the windows and the animation styles. Let me start with the animation because here you will find a new animation configuration, the animation moving. Let's execute it and close the window. Let's move to the second workspace and open some terminals. You see already that very dynamic animation. Yeah, this is the animation moving configuration. And you know you can customize even more your window appearance, for example, with the decoration. And I will activate rounding more blur for my windows, execute. Now I have a very high blur settings or all blur, execute. Now you see also that the blur on the way bar has been activated. It's not transparent anymore. Now it's blurred. That, that gives even more contrast to the way bar. In window, you can also switch to a one pixel border execute and now you have the one pixel border around the window and i think that looks also very nice and very modern let's close this let's close this and bring back the my linux for work app into the floating mode and maybe let's change the wallpaper again let's go back to the first wallpaper that i had activated at the beginning of the video, this one, because this is a winner of the official Hyperland wallpaper contest. And I have already included this into my wallpaper repository. The next menu item is about the monitor settings. It just opens an information dialog that explains that you have to open the Hyperland settings script to change the screen resolution. Let's do this. I open the Hyperland settings script and I open system, monitor, and I want to create a new monitor settings for the current screen resolution, but with having 120 Hertz. I select this one and I can copy this as a starting point and I enter here a new file name and I click return. Now I can select the new configuration and I can edit the configuration directly here in the settings script. 
This is Wim, so I go in, into the insert mode and add here a 120. And I save the file with WQ. And now I can activate the script. Execute. And now I have 120 hertz activated for my screen resolution. And this is a way that you can do for all of the configurations. For example, if you want to have here a new border settings, you can do this. Open an existing configuration, copy it, give it a name, for example, 10 or 10 pixels, then select the new configuration, click on edit and change the border size to 10. And select it and execute and you have the border size of 10 pixel. Please note that in case of an update, these additional scripts will not be overwritten. So this is your configuration. You can bring this configuration from one dot file version to the new dot files version. Now we come to two menu items that helps you to keep your Arch Linux system up to date. The first one is update your system. And this will start in the background the update script. Then a new menu item to clean up your system. This script helps you to remove so-called orphans from your Arch Linux installations. And that's it. You can here, if required, reload waiver or toggle waiver. So if you want to have a screen without using waiver, you can deactivate it here. Now waiver is gone and you can bring it back. You have access to the My Linux for Work welcome app whenever you need it by clicking on the L button or just enter ML4W into your terminal and the My Linux for Work welcome app starts. And that's it. These are the dot files in the version 2.8 with a lot of new exciting functions and features about the upcoming plans. One of the plans is that I want to transfer the settings app into a GTK application. This is much easier to use and also faster in regards of usability. And I will start to bring my dot files to other Linux distributions. It's a tough job, but I will give it a try and let's see what the future brings. And with that, thanks for watching and see you next time.